Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Welcome to Crystal V Talking, the only K pop reaction channel in the whole of YouTube. Because facts, and welcome to a brand new dancer reacts to. And yeah, as a dancer, I'm looking forward to this. Jackson is a phenomenal performer, an awesome dancer. Um, obviously, if you're watching this, you're definitely a fan of Jackson Wang or you're a fan of Got7 as well. If you do enjoy Got7 or Jackson Wang's content, I will leave a playlist at the very end. So feel free to continue on through this rabbit hole on my channel. Um, as well as that, I feel like it's been eight months since we did a last reaction to Jackson's music videos. I think that was the Let Me Love You and the other one was, drum rolls please, I don't remember what the other one was right now, but both of them were really, really awesome. So I'll leave a playlist so you can check them out. If you also want extra content to, uh, if you want extra content as well, check out my Patreon, which has over 300 videos over there. Yesterday we did Astro OK Ready episode three, as well as a studio tune uh, video for uh, G Idol's Tomboy. But there's loads of other stuff there, as well as Astro Sunha Moonbin's uh, reaction, also Stray Kids Maniac studio tune. We also have N Hyphens and a Clock, and loads of other stuff as well. Link down below. Hello, Patreon Chris is talking and for the month of April starting from tomorrow we'll be checking out a queendom and I think that's going to be a lot of fun because we'll lead into queendom season two in May yeah in May queendom season two so yeah so let's get into this music video is that like smoke that elevator looks really cool I'm getting like mad, like opera, phantom. <laughs> there you go, phantom of the opera kind of vibes. I haven't seen any teasers to this or trailers. So they're getting their life back. Was that the last bit of smoke that they had? I'm not gonna lie, this just looks like a <laughs> one of the evenings of the college. Yep. Just like one of those evenings after college. Again. That did kind of shake me up a little bit. I'm not even gonna lie to you, just a little bit. It tastes like cigarettes. Uh that's not a good taste. Oh, you don't wanna do that. Girl, you got me trippy sweat. Yeah, she does. just appreciate just his whole like the whole acting in all of this okay so i was enjoying the visuals and the aesthetic but here he's like look at this acting right here oh beautiful the way the camera's panning around them as well an actual clusterfuck <laughs> So that's not a good taste. Your body feels like disrespect. Yo, I just realized the clothing as well. I'd, I'd love the detail that he's put onto this. Now I'm trying to figure out when, what timing this was placed because this, I'm really bad with like time, um, period pieces and all that kind of stuff. But from the clothing, what are we saying? 1800s? What are we saying? 1900s? Maybe earlier, maybe on some Romeo and Juliet shit. Nice. If anyone ever blows in your face like that. <laughs> that hasn't happened to me, but I got triggered for something that has never happened to me before. I was thinking for some, imagine someone smoking and then like, my girlfriend gets stressed, yeah. She's probably gonna hate me saying this, but there's times where we're on the phone and then she reads, oh, well, I'm on the voice. Who's on the phone these days? It's 2022 on voice notes. And then she would tell me that basically she's like, oh, someone was smoking a cigarette at seven o'clock in the morning. And I was thinking, oh, that's just them smoking. Imagine if it was straight up. What's this, what's this madness? Yeah, yeah, I I <laughs> when it's coming up, there it is. Even if it's a vape. Oh, I love this. This whole sequence here. Okay, I love that it's like really going on this uh, musical theatre kind of side. And the way that we landed as well. Woo! The directing. Nice. Jeez! 
Jeez! Hey! What? <laughs> that was epic. Okay. As a fan of Michael Jackson growing up, it just reminds me of there's a... What was it? Was it Moonwalker? No, it wasn't Moonwalker. Was it Speed Demon? No. There's several different moments where, like, Michael Jackson's standing on the spot and he's like, ah, ah. No, what's the one with the... The one where he's creepily following around the woman, which... <laughs> I've always thought that was a weird music video, but I love the song. I don't know where it is right now. But then he's in the middle of the streets and he starts going, ah, and they do the whole stomping and everything. And he goes into like a, a silent moment. One of you guys is going to tell me what music video that is, but I'll let you know. You see all the angles, the point in. I love all the um, influences that you can see in here. Also, I realised, not I realised, I remembered, um, during those times there, people definitely, definitely were smoking like that, uh, 100%. Lips, lips, hey. Jeez. Ah, oh, lovely choreography right there. I like how all their heads were kind of doing that rotational thing, like, behind each other and then a cannon. It's not really a cannon, because cannon would be, like, one, two, three, four in order, but it was, like, opposite, opposite, creating this kind of, like, um, visual rotation, but I don't know. It's, it's like an, almost like an optical illusion. What movement would this be? I'm trying to find it. Here it is. I love that. See what I mean? Like, wah, 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 wah. Ah. Uh, Loving the arrangement. Also, to have that whole choreo in that tight corridor. I love this chaos, man. Hey! I put like Captain Jack Sparrow to <laughs> appear out of somewhere. Oh, we're getting some Moulin Rouge kind of movements right there. Hey, hey, hey. That's a vibe. That was cool. Magic Man. Alright. Team Wang Records. So Magic Man. I'm missing what? That's the album, I guess? Maybe? Who knows? Okay, guys. That was Jackson Wang with his music video for Below. And so conceptually, uh, it just had so many concepts riding for it i like the arrangement of the choreographies as well there was loads of different moments where the choreographies were like it was just extremely creative where they decided to kind of have these moments whether it was in the kind of corridor staircase corridor which was really nice because it allows us to kind of have a vertical climb when we're seeing each of the members like layers as well which i thought was really nice um also the different arrangements of how they kind of place themselves down instead of like falling down and laying on top of each other it was almost like a circular motion there's loads of very detailed um arrangements in this which work really really well um i'm would definitely love to see a performance version of this because i, I what am i talking about this felt like a performance version if you know if you know what i mean but at the same time it was just done so well. I really appreciate Jackson's uh, taste, his style. Um, the fact that he's just his creative freedom, that he's willing to work in different kind of like um, eras, if that makes sense, in his music videos, his concepts. He will do modern time, he'll do like way back when, he would do, I don't know, in like the 1800s kind of vibes and um yeah i'm very curious to see where he'll go in the future and what other concepts he'll do whether he'll do like a futuristic one a wild west one who knows but if you guys enjoyed this video do hit a thumbs up stick around for more for myself and uh patreon chris is talking for extra content you've been absolutely awesome i'll see you guys soon chris will be talking peace